Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the bald explorer. I'm Julia Hartley. And we're out on another walk. Uh, we're up in Lys, or close to Lys, in Hampshire. And we're standing here, starting our walk by this rather delightful tree. What kind of tree is it? Oak tree. An oak tree. And we know that because not only is it possible to see, but look, all these Plenty amazing these. evidence is all around. Um, we're going to take a little walk along the Shipwrights Trail, which is a 50 um, mile trail down towards Saint uh, uh, Lady Holt Wood. Um, and it was known for gathering the timber, which was then taken down to Portsmouth um, during the Tudor period. Um, so that's a little bit of its history. And we're just going to see from this southern bit from Lys um, what's there. So I hope it'll be good. Not done it before. And we haven't got a guidebook, haven't got anything. We've no. just, we just, um, we're up this way for a different reason. So we just thought we'd do the walk. So, feeling fit? Yes. Feeling brave? Yes. Let's go. Yes. Well, we've just been walking up the path a little way and the first obstacle that we've come to is a railway. Railway bridge. Um, yeah, it's got a nice looking sturdy railway bridge. Should yeah. we go over? Yeah. And I'm guessing this railway is the London to Portsmouth railway, yeah. I would imagine. Yes. But it gives us an elevated view of this rather terrific woodland behind us, which I think is primarily ash with um, a few oaks uh, scattered about. Go under this covered bit. It's very nice, isn't it? The weather isn't uh, a brilliant sunny day on our walk, but that's okay. We're not just fair weather walkers, no, are we? No, that's right. You soon get warm climbing just up. Just out of curiosity, yes. have you ever seen this thing before? I guess it's to pop your bike in to push it up or down so you don't have to bump it up and down the, the steps. What do you reckon? Yeah, I hadn't thought of that actually. I've, I've often thought that would be a good idea to put on bridges yeah. like this. But what a good idea, you just bung your tyres through there and and bring it up. Yeah, yeah. and as you say, it's a, it, I wonder if it's a bridle path. Not good for horses though, coming oh, no, up to a bridge like this. You've got no alternative, but for a cycle pass, it's absolutely, what a clever idea. Yeah. Right. So it's obviously quite an old route because um, the banks are quite high, a bit like an old holloway. Yes, we love them. We do. And again, more coppicing, coppiced stools on the side, which now look pretty abandoned. You've got these massive trees covered in holly. Oh, actually, that's a holly tree, these up here above us. Bit squelchy mud today. <laughs> it's quite deep in places. Yes. It's a... Uh... You need your boots. Another venerable oak. Look at that. Beautiful. And the way it's perched on the side there. Can you see daylight through it? No. Oh. <laughs> Very Maybe strange. a woodpecker has been up above and it's uh, Maybe. the dust has dropped. Very strange. Cool. And then here, this looks like a, um, a horse chestnut. It does, look at the twisty yes. length of Yes, this bark. is absolutely stunning example of the oh. twisty bark. Let's see if we can get a better view. Oh yes, you can see all the chestnuts on the ground there. Oh, have a look up there. That is so majestic. It's stunning. Anyone looking at us, looking at trees, will think we're a bit mad. But isn't <laughs> no, wouldn't it, be wrong, but... Isn't this beautiful? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I can't it? get over of how... Stunning. How it twists, that bark, how the bark twists. It's just amazing. It's like someone's grabbed hold of the tree at the root and just swiveled it round as if it was... Um, like a, I don't know, some sort of molasses or something. Well, it's, it's like a massive bit of Play-Doh that's twisted as it yeah, comes out of the... Yeah, uh, like dough. The, this machine thing. It's Gosh. girthy, isn't it? It's on private land, we can't get to it no. properly, but anyway. Other evidence is all on on the ground, of course. The, uh, the leaves, the mm. long 
the long leaves and the fruit well, fantastic the fruit oh yeah there, i think the uh, squirrels have had it yeah but yeah lovely it's amazing you don't have to go far and already you start to see amazing bits of nature i just love it it's like molten wax i know we've used molten wax to describe trees before but it's yeah we're you know we're very passionate about our trees as anybody watching will know anyway let's um let's progress up here and i've i've never seen holly so big and tall yeah it's just huge isn't it yeah look up there ladies and gentlemen it towers above you these are holly trees yeah growing on a bank on a borderline yeah and then it actually just just we'll have a look down here because it the bank suddenly drops down i don't know if you can see this oh wow yeah there's a river down there oh yes that's right there's a little river a little i think that's part of the rother oh do you want to see i'm just going to try and get the camera through so you can get a glimpse fascinating lovely isn't it Ooh. right we're going to cross the main busy road which is now the a3 very shortly um, on the shipwrights lane and uh, see if we can get up onto the what they call the hangers which i think is the must be a hampshire word for the hills in the area it's it's um hanger is a hill with trees hanging off it basically isn't it hanging is that, is that oh right yes that's kind of how it's described to me well that makes perfect sense well, Julia, Richard, we're on the other side of the Petersfield golf course now. Yep. We've just come down this very beautiful little uh, narrow tunnel of um, foliage and trees and yeah. brambles and things. But the noise you can hear, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the very busy A3. This is on a Sunday. We've got the Sunday traffic hurtling down at us. And somewhere we've got a cross. I think a little way down that way must be. So I'll go on this side of you if that's okay. So we're going to go on what must be a cycle path and public footpath yeah. and see if we can find the crossing point. We found it, Julia. We have. We found the, the tunnel, well, the underpass, on a bit of a main road. Yeah. Luckily, oh, there's a car coming, I'll just get that off. Luckily, um, there is signage again. It does seem to be well signposted. And one of the things I'm very interested in is just how well signposted are these big um, trails. Yeah. And we recently went on the um, Serpent Trail. Yes. Which, again, we found was very well signposted. And this one also, oh, sorry, you're pushing me onto the... I'm trying onto to guide the, you, yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, we are running out of time on this video and uh, unfortunately we've got to get back so there won't be a part two or anything this is really a bit of a scouting uh, video on the shipwrights way i want to concentrate on some of these old routes and make videos of the whole way in a series of perhaps 10 separate videos that sort of thing but uh, now look there's a sign here guessing that's that's the one but is it signposted other than footpath? Just says footpath well it's been a bit of a strange walk this one we've not really gone anywhere we've not really aimed for anything but we've just explored a little bit of the shipwrights way from Liss going south obviously joined up here with the A3 which is very loud um, it's a dull day and we don't have a lot of time but whilst we were in this neck of the woods doing something else we just figured it's you know got the camera got to go and do something haven't we yeah it was lovely to get out and see some lots of trees see lots some of trees. lots of trees go mm -hmm. down a little path that we haven't explored before go down hollow ways yeah um the lovely liz housden took me down part of the shipwrights way last well earlier this year um it's worth checking out that video but that's it for this one so hope you enjoy that we'll get back on this one when it's a bit warmer and a bit nicer and um there's more to see yeah yeah so thanks for watching 
Um, we'll catch you on the next one. In the meantime, leave a comment. If you've been on the walk, it'd be interesting. What's your favourite walk also? And um, don't forget to uh, become a patron and support what we do. But in the meantime, see you then. Ciao for now. Right, back home. Well, I guess so. I guess so.